Good afternoon, everybody. It is Stitch Fix time again. Just want to give you a little feedback. Um, the, the past couple of boxes, if you've watched, have really missed the mark. Um, two boxes ago, uh, I got a white shirt. It was a beautiful white shirt, but I was confused. And I even went back and looked at my style profile where I had marked, I don't want to get anything white. And so I got something white. And that's, you know, I, I try to be forgiving. I, I know that every box isn't going to be perfect. So then the next box, I asked, well, that box and then the next box, I've been asking for some colored shorts for summer. And I specifically said, I don't want to get any denim shorts. In my last box, I got two pair of denim shorts. So I don't know what's going on. Um, it almost feels like they're not even looking at my notes or anything. So um, I went and looked at my Pinterest board to see why I was getting things that didn't match anything on my Pinterest. Um, I have lots of colored shorts pinned. I don't have any denim shorts pinned. I don't know how she's getting confused. So I thought, okay, well maybe I just need fresh eyes. So after the second dud box, I asked for a new stylist. And I thought, you know, maybe somebody's been styling me for a while. They get comfortable. They're not really paying attention because they think they know me. Um, so I tried a new stylist. And so this box is styled by someone else, I think. And I already peeked. And I'm even more disappointed than I was before because this, to me, looks like they didn't look at anything on my, in my, and I even put on my note, please look at my notes and my Pinterest and my style profile so you can get a feel for what I like. So um, I might be taking a break from Stitch Bricks. I did order a Wantable box for next, it's coming next week. I have tried Wantable a couple of times. They're okay. Um, I've gotten some nice pieces, so I might need to give them another shot because I don't know what's going on with Stitch Fix. Maybe they're just too busy and don't have enough clothes or... There's, you know, I, I was told that their stylists have to style our box in 15 minutes. Maybe that's not enough time. They're just grabbing what they can get. Um, but let's take a look at this box, which looks nothing like my style. And there's still no colored shorts at all. Um, so um, here's my return envelope, which I know I'll be using. And the price sheet. The prices aren't bad on this one. Um, that's one thing she did keep within my budget, which was nice. Um, this is fix number 38. And I have Noelle, so I do have a new stylist. Happy Fix Day Sherry, my name is Noelle and I am thrilled to be styling you today for fix number 38. I've reviewed your style profile and chosen some items for you today that I think you'll love wearing this spring season. Summer is like in a month, but okay. Thank you for all of the notes on your profile. It definitely helped me style you today. Today, I tried to choose items that were close or similar to pieces on your Pinterest, as well as similar to your request. We don't currently have longer colored shorts. That just blows my mind. Like, it's summer, and they don't have any colored shorts. Like, none. Um, but I would definitely keep a lookout in future fixes, as I'm sure we will be getting some in. In the meantime, I sent you the cut-from-the-cloth wide-leg linen pants, a sta summer staple. Okay, I asked for casual shorts and shirts for summer. My style profile says I like my pants to be skinny or straight, but I got these wide leg linen pants um, and they're a summer staple, I guess. Pair them with either of the Daniel Rain knit tops, both inspired by your Pinterest. I'm not seeing it. While I am waiting on jumpsuit inventory, I also sent you the Market and Spruce dress, which I did not ask for dresses. I don't have dresses pinned. I asked for a jumpsuit. Okay, um, I hope you enjoy Noelle. So the dress would be super cute, I think, if I was 20. I'm 54. Um, the pants, I can't imagine, but I, I try to keep a little bit of an open mind. I did pin these shoes, so I am happy that she saw these shoes uh, and got them for me, even though I didn't specifically request them. I'm, I'm excited about them. Um, and then the tops that she said were inspired by my Pinterest. I have asked for bra friendly tops and there's no way you can wear a normal bra with that. And this, I don't even know what inspiration she got for that. But anyway, maybe they're prettier in person. I don't know. So let's look at the shoes first because I think I'm going to like these. These are the Toms and I love, to I have a pair of Toms already. I love them. Toms classic printed all Pergata, A-L-P-A-R-G-A-T-A, Espadrille in black. 
and they have these little dots and I just think they're cute um, for summer. I know I'm going to like these. So these are probably going to be a keeper unless they don't fit, but I have another pair of Toms and they fit great. So happy about that. Oh, and those are $59. Here is my bundle. Very odd. Let's look at the pants first. These are cut from the cloth, which is a brand I love, so I give her points for that. Davy wide leg pant in taupe, and they're $78. Okay, first off, they have an elastic waist, which when they sent me shorts before in elastic, I said, I don't like elastic waist, I don't like that. And actually after the last box, customer service emailed me and said, they were sorry that I was disappointed and they were making notes that I wanted colored shorts, they wanted them longer, and they also said, we're gonna put in here that no elastic waist. So then I get elastic waist pants. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's almost like they're just not looking. And then, look how wide. Maybe these are in style, I don't know, but I would never wear these. And they're $78 and they just look like a pair of scrubs, really. Um, I'm going to try them on. The color's nice. The brand is nice. I don't get it. Okay, then the dress, which I didn't ask for a dress. I'm not a dress person. Um, it is kind of cute. This is Market and Spruce Amethyst Eyelet Detail Knit Dress Blue, and it's $68. Okay, so it's, it's in a really nice, soft knit um blue and white striped and then up at the top it has like an eyelet which is that's pretty um i'm not sure what kind of bra you would wear because it's i guess you i don't know we'll have to see i mean it is a cute dress i will say um i just don't know if i'm going to get that much use out of it and 68 dollars just for a, a summer dress might be a little much but um it i will say this does look cuter than the picture so even though i didn't ask for a dress this, the next two she said were inspired by my Pinterest. I don't, I don't get it. Um, it's a really pretty fabric. Uh, this is, I think this is Daniel, Daniel Rain, Blanche Keyhole Back Detail in Off-White, and it's $48. That's a nice price for Daniel Rain, I will say. But um, this is, this is not my, that's, I don't, I don't know. It's just not. I mean, I know I'm 54, but it looks a little old, um, matronly, for, I don't know. Plus, this looks dressy. Maybe I need to define. I am shorts and tank top. Um, summer, I live near the beach. So that, to me, here that's dressy, I don't need that. Okay, and then the next thing is Daniel Rain again. Raleigh crochet neckline knit top in navy and it's $54. So I think the theme here with her, and I give her credit, is she chose a bunch of brands that I like. So maybe she's trying that way and saying, okay, I know that she likes these brands. We'll see if she likes these styles. But this, um, again, it's cute, but I am not gonna go out and buy a special bra to wear with a shirt. Um, although I will say it's a cute tank top. I'm, I'm, I'm liking these tops, this top a little bit better than I thought I would. Um, and maybe if I have to have a special, I don't even know what color bra you would wear with that because it's blue. Um, I guess you have to wear a strapless, well you do because you can't on this one because of this. So I would have to buy a strap, strapless bra to wear this. But I will say it's cute and it's a nice soft knit. It's got a little button in the back. So, not super excited, but not as discouraged as I thought. There might be a couple pieces in here I can hang on to and make work for me. So, I'm going to go try it on, and I'll be back. Okay, so the first outfit are the, the pants. The cut from the cloth, Davy white leg pant in taupe. They're $78. And this is the Daniel Rain Blanche Keyhole back detail on top for $48. Okay, 
I will say that this top, the fabric is amazingly soft and comfortable. I just don't like the print at all. I don't like this piece down here. Um, I just don't think it's flattering. I just don't like the shirt. The pants are way long. I have on some wedges and they're still, I guess they're just enough, but they're, they're, they're really long. I will say they're comfortable. They're very lightweight in summary. So if you like this kind of pant, um, I think, get a little light there. I think that you would like them if you like this style. The thing is, if I wanted them to be dressy, they have these pockets here that are down here. So to me, it just makes it casual. But then if you're gonna have to wear heels with it, it needs to be a little dressy. Um, so these are a no, but they are nice pants if you like this style. They're just totally not my style. Both of these pieces are nice. If you like this style, I recommend them because the shirt's really comfortable and the pants are really comfortable. I mean, this is really lightweight. Like you could wear these in the summer and you're not gonna get all sweaty. I just don't like this pocket thing here and I don't like this drawstring to what to do with it. You're always gonna have that right there. And the fact that they're so long that you're committed to heels, even when you wanna wear it casually. I think it's a cross between it's casual, but you need dressy shoes. So this is a no, but they are nice pieces. Okay, this might be a game changer. Um, didn't think I wanted a dress. Put it on, I'm thinking I like the dress. This, this is the Market and Spruce Amethyst Eyelet Detail Knit Dress in blue and $68. Um, it is a little pricey for a simple dress, but I think this could be so versatile during the summer. Like, I'll just have it with some little short, I don't know what kind of shoes you call these. Um, like this but you could also just wear these with a pair of white tennis shoes and make it super casual this isn't too bad with the I have a white bra strap under here so and you can't really see it that badly um, I don't know what it, it is kind of shapeless I don't know about that I mean I really like it it's the fabric is so comfortable um, I like that it's long enough because I have a hard time getting dresses that come down to my knees um, it's just kind of a shapeless, I thought, you know, do I need to get a bigger one? But I don't think so, because I don't think I want it snug in my butt. Um, but, you know, I have plenty of moving room here. I think I really like this, and I'm really surprised. And I have to say, I'm sorry, Noel, for judging you on getting me a dress instead of a, a jumpsuit. But I like it. It's just so cool, and the armpits are high enough that you don't feel like you know, you've got a lot of, I really, I really like this. See, this is why I should never judge my box by my peak, because you never know. And that's kind of the fun of st Stitch Fix is they give you stuff that you think, ooh, I don't like that. And then you put it on and you're like, ooh, this is so cute. I think even at $68, I think I'm gonna wanna keep this. And I might have to give Noelle another shot because despite the, the old lady outfit before this is cute oh i wanted to mention those pants too even though they were cute and comfy very very wrinkly like that's they're, they're linen so if you want them you're gonna have to iron them every time you wash them so just keep that in mind as well all right i'll be back all right and i came downstairs without my glasses so we'll see if we can read this um this is the daniel rain This is the navy crochet neckline. Um, it's $54. And then I put on the shoes. They don't match this at all, but just to see how they fit. And I do like them. I love my Toms. These are have a little bit of different, they have the espadrille kind of um, sole on it. They're a gray with polka dots. The top is very, 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 very soft. I really like it. Um, I definitely would have to wear a strapless bra. I just pull my my straps down in this one. Um, I do like how it comes up high enough under the arms. Um, I have to work on tan lines. Um, this is really pretty. I did find when I looked in the closet, I don't have a lot of colored pants that would go with this. I mean, I have navy pants, but the navy doesn't go. 
and I had some kind of greenish ones and it didn't go. So I don't know how much I could wear this other than just some denim because the colors in here, there's so many colors and then it kind of clashes with if I go and put a collar pair of pants on. But it's, it's cute, it has a crochet in the back and then a little button back here. Um, very cool and comfy. So I'm not sure about this top, I do like it. Um, but I have to decide, do I want to go buy a strapless bra just for one shirt? Um, and also, am I going to get enough wear out of it? If, you know, I've got to see if I can find something. You know, if they'd found me some colored shorts, that would have been great. Um, I mean, this is the style of shorts I have. All of my shorts are denim. And I'm trying to get out of just denim all the time. But I do like it. So I'm going to have to decide what I want to keep. So I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up and kind of last thoughts. Well, that was a big surprise. Um, pleasant. Moral of the story is don't judge your peak. Sometimes I wish I couldn't peak because then I already have preconceived ideas. I am shocked at the dress because when I saw the picture, it just looked like a flimsy little teeny bopper dress and it's really got some structure. Um, I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna keep the dress, even though it's $68. Um, Cause I think even when it's not summer, you can put a denim jacket with it. You can put some leggings under it. I think it's something that could be worn almost year round. I'm in Virginia. So maybe the couple of months that it's cold here, I wouldn't wear it, but I could wear it in the fall, spring, summer. So I think I would get a lot of use out of that. <clears throat> the wide leg pants, there are no. I don't like wide leg. I don't like elastic. They were too mixed between dressy pants, but then drawstring versus I need to wear heels with them. They just wouldn't work with me, but they were nice pants. If you like them, they're a good quality. They're very comfortable. If that's your style, I recommend them. They're just not my style. Um, the same with the Daniel Rain top that she sent <clears throat> that, that went with it. It just was, that looks like something my mother would wear and that's okay if that's your style, but it's just not my style. So those two pieces are out. The, the Daniel Rain top that's a tank top, I'm on the fence with that. Um, it's cute, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I would bother, first off, shopping and buying a strapless bra, and then if I would even grab it, you know, to say, oh, let's wear the strapless bra and the, you know, I, I'm not sure. I, it's a cute top, if it wasn't for the strapless bra and if I had things to go with it. I don't think it's versatile enough, because it's kind of dressy. I would like to dress it up a little bit, but with all the colors, the dots in there, they're just a little off on all the color. You know, I have burgundy and navy and green pants, but none of them really match those dots, and they just look like a big clash. Um, and the same with navy, the navies didn't match. So I don't know what I would wear. Um, it would look cute with white jeans, but remember, I don't like white, because I have nothing against white. I'm just the biggest klutz. So as soon as I put it on, I would spill something, and then there we'd be. <clears throat> so I just like things that I can blend the, the stains in, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I, I'm thinking I'm not gonna keep that top. Um, it was $54 and you know if you don't love it I think you should just send it back if it was a 5.5 five box sometimes I'll grab something that I don't absolutely love but since I know this isn't a 5.5 five, I don't know that I want to spend $54 on a shirt that maybe I'm not gonna wear that often um, the Toms <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna wear them around the house a little bit they seem a little loose I, I have a pair of Toms they're a different style I just have the basic canvas ones that are like $48 I think these are another style of toms and they seem a little big but I don't know if I should size down because I've got a little bit in the toe but when I walk they kind of slip um, and I don't wear socks with my toms so that wouldn't help either so I'm not I love them but I don't know if I'm gonna size them down or just keep them I mean they're okay um, walking they just seem a little looser than the ones that I already have but then I don't know if they're so loose that I need a size smaller I don't even know if it's available so for now, I'm definitely keeping the dress, possibly keeping the shoes, and the other things are going back. So, kudos to Noelle, her first shot. I thought she bombed it, but I think she did a pretty decent job. Um, I'm just gonna have to go back and reiterate. No wide leg pants, no elastics. Um, and casual means, like, I could go to the beach if I wanted to, because I work from home, so I don't need anything dressy. And, um, and I don't. I have some dressy clothes and they just hang in my closet. So um, 
as always, though, I love your feedback if you have any of these pieces. Um, but that's kind of, I think, this was an easy one to decide. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Um, I should have my Wantable next week. Um, I've only done Wantable twice. I do it, and then like three months later, I do it again. And it's about three months later, I'm doing another one. Just to kind of see what the differences are. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to order another Stitch Fix right away since the Wantable's coming. Um, usually as soon as I check out, I'll order another one and get the next available date for Stitch Fix. But I might wait and see what the Wantable has. See if they can come up with some colored shorts for me. Because that's what I really want. It's just some more shorts that aren't denim for the summer. But we're kind of running out of time. I mean, it's hot here now. And I still don't have any shorts. So, um, but look for the Wantable video. Hopefully by the end of next week. Um, and then I'll decide if I'm going to go ahead and schedule another Stitch Fix. Or maybe wait a little bit. Thanks again for watching. And y'all have a great weekend and a great Mother's Day for all you moms out there. Bye.